to Tuesday's Charlotte City Council meeting, leaders from various towns surrounding Charlotte released a statement opposing a massive transportation agreement that's taken months to coordinate. The line item they wanted to see addressed was a commitment from Charlotte to repair so-called orphan roads. They are roads that aren't maintained to the standards of either state or local government and have fallen through the cracks of responsibility. One example is Grand Palisades Parkway. We're saying that we are going to consider putting money aside to go in and complete a private road that a business neglected to complete. Discussions took a detour. There was development that took place in the expectation that it would be annexed under involuntary annexation. So the road was built to city specifications and not to state specifications. Then the legislature outlawed involuntary annexation and the annexation didn't occur. For that reason, NCDOT will not take responsibility for the road until it meets state standards, putting the HOA and the city in a bind. Grand Palisades Parkway is an emergency route for the Catawba Nuclear Station and is used heavily by residents and students headed to school. City manager Marcus Jones suggested an option outside the interlocal agreement using new sales tax money toward those repairs. A provision dealing with orphan roads doesn't have a place, in my professional opinion, in this agreement. As a first step in a long process, the revised transit agreement now heads to commissioners and other town boards for consideration. The Metropolitan Transit Commission met this afternoon. Area leaders expressed the importance of working together as a group toward an agreement.